Thank you for joining us. My name is Jay Clifford, a developer advocate for Influx Data. I'm joined by Paul Dix, our CTO and creator of InfluxDB. So Paul, one of the subjects that we really wanted to discuss was real-time analytics. It's kind of a broad term and it's a bit of a buzzword being thrown around at the minute. So could you kind of take me through a, an explanation exactly what is real-time analytics? Yeah, so I think real-time analytics really talks about you have to talk about it in contrast with traditional data warehousing. So with data warehousing, you have large chunks of data that are being ingested, but usually there's a period of time, you know, multiple minutes or even hours between when data arrives at the big data warehouse and when you can query it and generate a report. And usually in those data warehouse use cases, you're generating a report like once a day or once a week or whatever. With real-time analytics, you're doing similar kinds of queries, analytical queries, but you want to be able to execute those queries as the data arrives, basically within seconds or even milliseconds. And you want the queries that you're executing to return in under a second, or in some cases, 100 milliseconds. And the reason that's important for real-time analytics is generally you're building real-time control systems, right? So you have sensor systems, you have other important business processes that you're you know, you're monitoring for, and you want to be able to query things as they happen so that you can take action in an automated system or trigger an alert for a human to act on. So you kind of touched on it a little bit there. We sort of had this sort of industrial IoT use case, looking at that sort of control use case there. Is there sort of any other industry examples you could sort of tap into that could benefit from our technology? I mean, I think most of the time when you think about real-time analytics, it's frequently you, what you are doing is you're you know you're ingesting any kind of data. It could be time series data, but it could be just raw individual events. It could be very high cardinality or infinite cardinality data, which is something you more frequently see in real time analytics. But what you're ultimately doing is you're going to show a dashboard to the user that's updated once a second, once every ten seconds, and you want the data on that dashboard to come back quickly and to show you the results for what's going on right now, not what happened. 10 minutes ago or an hour ago. And then obviously the, the, the real-time control aspect. So where do we see this? You see this in network performance monitoring. You see it in you know, monitoring traffic patterns on a website in terms of individual requests. Security is a common thing, right? If you're doing audit logging and all sorts of you know, things to see who's accessing a system and when, you need to be able to take action on that data immediately. Um, so those are the kinds of things where you see it. Interesting. So things like fleet management as well, and yes. looking at that, yeah, that tracking. Sure. Very, very cool. So InfluxDB 3.0, we're really trying to sort of direct um, 3.0 into this space. Um, what role is InfluxDB 3.0 playing within real-time analytics? So our goal really is to be, you know, best in class time series solution. But the thing is like we got pulled into real-time analytics by our actual users and our customers, right? They were traditionally using InfluxDB to track metrics data. And then what they wanted more and more was to do analytical queries across you know, hundreds of thousands or mi millions of individual time series, right? So if they wanna say like, pinpoint what out of like, you know, a fleet of 10,000 servers or 100,000 radios is doing something, you need to be able to do those analytical queries across those bits of data, right? So our specialty is the time series stuff and then also queries against the leading edge of data, the data that's most recently ingested, right? That you care about, you know, taking action quickly. So are there any particular technologies that we're looking into to basically prepare InfluxDB for the real-time analytics space? Yeah, so, you know, building on the FDAP stack, Flight, Data Fusion, Arrow, and Parquet, those are the points of integration that we think will help Influx play well in the real-time analytics space, being able to exchange data in bulk form in, as Parquet files, being able to exchange data for data science using Apache Arrow Flight. So it's easy for data scientists to you know, translate that data in Pandas or in R and do analysis on it. Thank you, Paul. And thank you all for joining us. We're really excited to see what you're going to do with InfluxDB 3.0.